covered by any sense that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. And when he was performing these pastimes, they were beautiful, beautiful, and most charming. Anugrahaya Bhakta Nam, Manushin Dehira Shita, Vajate Tarkashi Krita, Yakshipa Tatparo Vavet. When Krishna appears, he appears and shows his magnificent pastimes. By hearing those, the living entity must become attractive and must perform devotional service. But an amazing thing will happen when Krishna pastimes. They were somewhat misunderstood by the greater mass of people. Even though they were so darling, so charming, so extraordinary in so many ways, and so much power, opulence, magnificence was there, still the mass of people could not understand that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And during his own pastimes, he did give instructions about bhakti, about the beauty of devotional service, but in Bhagavad Gita, when he gives those instructions, his final instruction was what? Sarvadharma pencha dhamali kamshuna raja aham tam sarva kabe yo mocha shami masha chaha. Krishna gave the instruction, yes, surrender unto me, give up all religiosity, all materially motivated dharma, and surrender unto me. But he did not describe the nature of his beautiful training. He did not describe at that time the speciality of his love with his devotees in Vrindavan. So, Mahaprabhu, he came to reveal the special nature of the love of the inhabitants of Vrindavan. And so when Mahaprabhu came, he came not just by himself. There is a beautiful verse we recite almost every day, Panchatapa Akam Krishna, Bhakta Rupa Sarupa Kam, Bhakta Avatam Bhakta Kyam, Namami Bhakta Shakti Kam. Mahaprabhu appeared how? He appeared as his own devotee, and he appeared with his first expansion, Nityananda Prabhu, also in the form of the devotee. He, approached, he came along with his incarnation, Advaita Charya, uh, the incarnation uh, of Mahavishnu, Sadashi and also in the mood of a devotee. And he also came with his uh, bhakti, his uh, Srivast Thakur, also his devotee, and Bhakta Shakti Kaum, the God of Pandit. All of those have a relationship with Krishna. Nityananda Prabhu is Paladev, uh, Advaita Acharya is Samashi, uh, Mahavishnu, um, the God of Pandit, is Radharani herself, and Srivast Thakur, acting as his devotee, is our Muni. So all of the associates have appeared, and we went to many different places and heard about different associates. They came also to demonstrate this mood of devotion. And Mahaprabhu exhibited himself the most complete and perfect exhibition of what a devotee is. He did not come to reveal himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he came to reveal the perfection of devotional expression. When we hear this uh, in the uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, he says, I will come as my own devotee. But he says, He says, whatever a great person does, come people will follow. So by showing in my own example of love and devotion, I will excite the entire world also to become devotees of Krishna, Radha and Krishna. Because otherwise, these pastimes were completely and totally misunderstood. So, this is the essence and the nature of Mahaprabhu's pastimes. We'll be hearing so much more, but we're all asked to speak very little briefly, so I end my speech here. Thank you. Bunch of
But Navadeep is not manifest to in Vrindavan. Navadeep is very special. Here in Navadeep, my poor Navadeep, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is performing his eightfold uh, Ashtakalya Lila, just like Radha Krishna performing the Ashtakalya Lila in Braj. So Lord Chaitanya is performing Ashtakalya Lila in Andhavi Mayapur. But no Ashtakalya Lila in Puri. No Ashtakalya in, in Godavari. So the pastimes in the places which we have visited, which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed more than 500 years ago, and which he is still performing with his eternal associates, these are the very highest pastimes. So we're so fortunate to go to an entity and to have darshan of these holy places in the direct association of our beloved Sri Gurudev. These pastimes are also very absorbing. Everybody likes drama. So there were many dramatic pastimes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He didn't kill gigantic horse demons or bull demons, but still there was drama. As a small child, he was not a good child. He was extremely naughty. Krishna is very mischievous. And Mahaprabhu was delinquent. He was very, very naughty, very restless. He created so much problems. One day, he told his mother that I want to go worship Ganga, you bring me a, a garland. And his mother said, yes, okay, I'll get one straight away. He said, not straight away, now! And he began to break up the pots. He broke up all the, the spices. He ripped up the bags. He broke the windows. He broke the door. And in the end, he was beating the ground. Man! Mother Shakshi, she didn't say anything at all. Afterwards, she brought the garland. She said, here's your garland, dear. So thank you. And he went off to worship Ganga. Other times, when Keshe Kashmiri came, the big scholar, Namadhi was full of scholars, they're all trembling. <coughs> oh, if he defeats us, then Namadhi will be uh, vanquished. So they said, oh, you should meet with this youngster. We've got one youngster here, he's the most insignificant scholar. You meet with him, then you can meet with the rest of us. So Keshe Kashmiri met with uh, Nimai Pandit. And Pandit, apparently a young, like 15 year old, just discussing Nyaya with his students, easily he defeated Keshe Kashmiri. And in Keshe Kashmiri, he had the understanding that actually uh, his beloved goddess, Saraswati, who had given him victory everywhere, this was her lord, and he came to surrender. He'd come with so many elephants, so many followers, and he surrendered to Nimai Pandit, and he left alone secretly. He took Sanyas and just went away. Uh, there was so much drama. Me and my company created so much problems. And the young girls he was teasing him and said, you have to marry me. If you don't marry me, then you'll be married to a man with six other wives. He'll be old. He'll be ugly. And you'll be the youngest wife. He won't pay any attention to you. If you marry me, oh, you'll get a very nice husband. A handsome boy. And they're all complaining to Mother Shachi, just like the gopis used to complain to, uh, complain to Yashoda. He would go down to the river when the brahmanas were taking baths. Sometimes he'd go into the water and pretend to be a crocodile and grab him by the legs. Or when they'd take a bath and they were just ready to off their bags and they'd squirt water over them. And they'd think, oh, now I'm contaminated. But they'd have the good fortune of having Abhishek directly from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So they say everyone was remembering. And then, <coughs> Nimai, he dried himself very carefully, he sprinkled himself with ink, put dust all over himself, and he tell his friends, don't tell my father that I've been here, okay? Then he'd go home the other way. And the Brahmanas would complain to, get to uh, Jagannath Mishra. And then Mishra would look at Nimai and he said, no, he doesn't look as though he's been down to the river. I think it must be some mistake. So there were so many, so many pastimes. After, after Vishnu disappeared, passed away. Uh, after he left, he took sannyas. So then he might calm down and he became an arrogant scholar. He was so arrogant, so proud. He was the most competent scholar anyway, supernaturally competent. He, he challenged everyone, defeated everybody. When the devotees saw him, they would run. They didn't want to face him because he was just quarreling with logic. One day Srivast Thako came up to me my and said, why are you wasting your time? Just arguing with logic. Why don't you worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Nimai Pandit was so happy. Then later on, 
Nimai went to Gaya. There he met with Ishra Puripa. Ishra Puripa gave him Diksha. He came back no longer the arrogant scholar. Babuk Maya, uh, Babuk Nimai. He became pure devotee, rolling on the ground. Where's my Krishna? Where's my Krishna? Everyone thought he became diseased. He got a weak disease. Srivast Thakur came to see him. Nimai said, everyone says I've got a weak disease. Srivast Thakur said, oh, good disease. I wish I had that disease. This is love. Nimai said, oh, I'm so glad you said that. If you told me I was mad if I had a disease, I think I would have jumped in Ganga. But still, he didn't reveal that he's the Supreme Lord. He used to serve the devotees. He carried their loads for them. He would do their washing for them. But then, another drama. The Muslims are coming because of the chanting and the Vaishnavas. Srivast Thakur was in so much anxiety. He was worshipping Vishnu in day. And Nimai Pandi thought, now I will reveal that I am the Supreme Lord. He went running to Srivast Thakur's house, beating on the door. Srivast! Srivast! I am the one you're worshipping. Offer your prayers to me. Srivast Thakur came with his whole family. And they began offering prayers to Nimai Pandi. Oh, he's the Supreme Lord. Nimai said, don't worry, I can control everyone. Malini, come here. Malini was a little girl, five years old. He said, look, Malini, chant Krishna's name. So she began, Krishna, and then suddenly she was falling on the floor, rolling, crying, asking Satya Prabhupada, pray. Mahaprabhu said, don't worry, nothing's going to happen. And then he revealed himself to, uh, revealed himself to Advaita Acharya. Then, Nityananda uh, Prabhu came, he heard that finally, oh, his Kanai, he's revealed himself in, in Navadri. He started his pastimes. Nityananda Prabhu came. He forced Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come and find him in Nanana Acharya's house. There was a wonderful ecstatic meeting. And then the Sankirtan pastimes came. We were in uh, Shiva Sangha. So they had mad praying Kirtan, devotees all night. Forgetting themselves, forgetting their bodies, forgetting who they were, just dancing, Hari Nam, Hari Nam. Sometimes Chaitanya was dancing, sometimes his feet would touch his head. Sometimes he was headed to a mountain. Sometimes he was like cotton wool. One day they did a beautiful drama. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he played the part of one consort of the Supreme Lord after another. Nobody knew who was taking the parts. In the end, the sun was coming up. The devotees were cursing the sun. How can, the, how can the night end? How can it end? And Mahaprabhu said, come on. And in the form of the consort of the Lord, he breastfed the Lord, uh, breastfed his devotees with prayer. And they were all completely satisfied. And then after this, then, they took the Sankirtan movement out. So I think my point is a very, very wonderful pastimes there. Wonderful conclusions. Wonderful, great fortune that we could go there, take darshan in these beautiful places in the association of our Shri Guru Day. Hare Krishna. One check out the Guru Day. Thank you, Pastor Guru Day. Thank you, Pastor Guru Day. Thank you, Pastor Guru Day. Thank you,
छत्रपति पाजी बोले काला कले में बनना इंडिया का एक मार्ग है श्रीमद् भक्ति मार्ग है कंठक कोटि की तरह आहार पर जान की कला की महान करोगे चैतन्य चंद्र जली नाथ की कृपा करोगे और इसके बाद उन्होंने क्या किया बोले ध्येय सदा परिभ्रमण करना अभिष्ट है भक्ति के बाधाओं को दूर करके भक्ति का अभिष्ट उस अभिष्ट को उन्होंने दोहन किया श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्टम हमारे श्री नरोत्तम पाजी बोले कि महापुरुष जी का मनोविष्ट क्या वही भक्ति सुन रहे थे राज है या पन्ना है नरमा की दृष्टोबान है वह अस्वाद्य देना दूध मधुर मार की दृष्टोबान मध्य सौक्षण चास्त्र मधुर भगत की दृष्टों देती हो बात तब भावार के समझने सची गए बस सिंधु मरी तो एक राजा रानी के प्रेम की तो प्रकाशना है जो मतलाक मामा की चरण सीमा सर्व भावुक गमुद राशि Thank you. 